I'm Doug Reeves with frequently asked questions from San Bernardino educators about effective grading practices. This question is about assigning final grades and it asks, how do we use the latest and best evidence? Does that mean we only grade the final exam? Well, I would defer to you as to what the latest and best evidence is. But I know this, let's consider the English teacher who might have students do four drafts of a essay they're not gonna average in the fourth draft that had tons of feedback and improvement with the first draft. They grade the fourth draft. The same is true in any other class and any other assignment. There will be early attempts and early drafts of things that are simply practice, and we should not grade those. We should grade the latest and best evidence that we have. So I'm not saying put all your eggs in one final exam or one final project, but I am saying that work done after all your hard work and after all your feedback deserves much, much more weight than the work done early in the semester that probably contained lots of errors in it because it didn't have your coaching, it didn't have your support, it didn't have your feedback. So this is not just about valuing the student's work, it's about valuing your work. And when you use the latest and best evidence, it places the greatest emphasis on the work over which you had the greatest influence. Thanks for listening.